so satisfying. Ugh. This is Janine and thank you for stopping by to this channel. I am so excited to be doing this because this is the very first unboxing plus first impression video and adding to the excitement is the fact that the product that we're gonna do, the first impression, is from my favorite, Lisa Eldridge. She is a well-renowned makeup artist in the fashion and beauty industry. Her client includes big celebrities like Lily Collins, Kate Winslet, Kira Knightley, Rosie Huntington Whiteley, Kate Blanchett, all the big stars. Her signature makeup is always that fresh and flawless, and I've learned so much from her regarding the techniques in doing the makeup. It has to look like a second skin. It has to be well blended and like it's the makeup is part of your skin. And she is so so talented and the makeup look that she's doing is phenomenal and I love her. I adore her. You don't have to hold on to my word. Just have to go and check her channel. I will put a link in the description box below. For the longest time she's been designing products for big brands like Chanel. Boots number no. 7, Lancome, and Shiseido. And for the very first time, she launched her first beauty product. It's a limited edition and it is called the True Velvet Lipsticks. I watched her video launching the lipsticks on Saturday and I ordered on the same day. And I receive it today, considering the fact that it has been shipped from Britain and I'm in the UAE. I will still consider it as fast delivery and um, very convenient because it has been delivered right at my doorstep. This has been given to me by FedEx Express. It took a lot of self-control for me not to open this in the very um, second that I received this package. It also helps that I've been so busy this whole week and especially this morning because we're gonna be we're going on a four-day holiday. So I'm trying to finish up all the work before I went on holiday. You're gonna see some protective covering, whatever you call it. This is the logo of her brand. It's L with the lips. She has a very sweet note at the back. I'm so thrilled to be sending you my limited edition matte velvet lipstick as it's been a challenge to achieve the velvet effect. I actually gave up at one point, but I'm so happy I got there in the end as I think it's really unique and magical. I'm sure you'll get a lot of compliments when you're wearing your lipstick. I would love to see, so please share a picture via Instagram or Facebook with hashtag Lisa Eldridge Makeup. I've taken a lot of time to pack your lipstick with extra cushiony care. With love, Lisa. The whole package is embedded in this black cushiony thing. And... I'm wondering where the product is. Okay, it's right in the middle. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. It comes in this black pouch with her logo, L with the lips. And of course, this is made of velvet texture, velvet material, and it's so soft. And then right there in the middle, the lipstick is covered with a bubble wrap. Course. And this is how the packaging looks like. I ordered three of them. I know that you can also buy it individually, but I just thought that maybe I can save a little money. I'm not really sure if I can save a little money if I purchase the whole lot. This is 75 pounds or 365 converted to dirhams. Before I click the checkout button, of course, I really think about it. It's not that cheap. But it's not too expensive. It's somewhere in the middle, around 120 each. And most luxury lipsticks will cost you, like Chanel and Dior, will cost you 199, sometimes 200. The, the, the price varies. I think this comes in a mid range price. It comes in three colors velvet jazz, velvet ribbon, and the velvet morning. Now let's open the velvet morning first i'm not wearing any lipstick right now this is a stain left from the revlon bomb stain that i'm wearing this whole day and i just put a little 
uh, lip balm so my lips would be ready for a lipstick application. I did not apply a lipstick because I don't want anything to interfere with the lipstick that we are testing tonight. So at the top of the packet, you're gonna see the name of the lipstick and the logo. At the back, you're gonna see the ingredients list and it also has the place where it has been made. This is made in Italy. Gold packaging or gold detailing in both sides. Here's on the up and then her name again at the front. This comes in 3.5 grams or is, I think this is the same content naman of the regular lipstick. There is another protective covering inside when you get the bullet out of the box. Oh my goodness, this has been packaged very, very meticulously and carefully. And I am so in love with the packaging. Look at the bullet. The packaging looks really plush. Let's open a magnetic closure. Let's take a look at what's inside. Oh! This is the very first time that I I have seen this kind of lipstick. Can you see that? It looks like velvet. She said this is the very first velvet lipstick that you will ever find. But I just want to feel it. Can I? Oh my goodness. It looks and feels like velvet. <gasps> How did you do that? It's time to swatch the lipsticks. Sorry, sorry if I am getting carried away because I love me. According to her description, this is the Velvet Morning and it comes in a velvety orange hot firecracker kind of red. The perfect description for this is when you see the sun rising vibrantly in the horizon. That's the perfect orangey corally color. I will zoom you in. According to her description, this is a one swipe, full saturation, full coverage lipstick. So that's what we're going to do. This lipstick is really saturated, really full coverage. I think if you're gonna be using this kind of bold lipstick, it would be better if you're gonna use a lip brush or if you have a lip liner in the same color. You can see how bold my lip color is, but I am not feeling anything in my lips. I feel like I'm not wearing any lipstick at all. Wala talaga, sobrang lightweight. It's very lightweight. Sorry for the fluctuation in my voice. I'm getting so excited. So nice, so pretty. I can see myself wearing this. I'm not really a fan of matte lipstick and this one doesn't come so matte. She said this is lightweight and hydrating lipstick. Lightweight, yes. The hydrating, I am not feeling uncomfortable right now. It feels it's not emollient it feels hydrating enough but i am not sure i have to test it and wear it for a longer time before i can say that this will not dry out my lips but my initial impression i am liking it it's very comfortable on my lips she also said that this finish is a matte but not flat it's like matte with with a little bit of sheen not a dry down matte and I can totally agree with that. How beautiful this color is. It's so in time for Christmas. I always tend to wear red during Christmas parties and any kind of holiday party. Next thing that we're gonna try is the velvet ribbon. According to her, this is a true red with a hint of blue. This is incredible. Incredible. recommend using a lip brush I can feel the velvet velvety texture but I can say that I like this texture a lot better than the other one I feel like it's a lot softer 
in her website you will see lip pencils recommendation that you can use along with these lipsticks and you will also see the swatches of these lipsticks on different skin tones go to her website and check that if you're interested to buy this lipstick and is a vegan cruelty free product you care about those things rest assured that this is not tested on animals it doesn't transfer on my teeth kasi di ba yung ibang lipstick pag nilagay mo pa lang or nilalagay mo pa lang nagte-transfer na sa nipen i like this kind of red i think i can wear this on our christmas party this is just an initial impression. I will still give you a follow-up review on this. One thing that has piqued my interest when she was describing her lipsticks was that she said that when this lipstick wears off, it will come out gradually and evenly. Walang may iwan, di ba minsan kapag nawawala or kumakain tayo and nawala na yung lipsticks, natitira na lang yung nandito sa gilid. She is proud of the formulation because she said that this lipstick doesn't settle onto the cracks of your lips. It doesn't settle on the outside edge of the lips. Diba minsan yun yung nagiging problema natin? So we'll see. I'm gonna test it out and I will let you know for sure. And for the last lipstick, this is the Velvet Jazz. She is describing it as a dip brick red. It looks intimidating in the bullet and it looks like this is the most saturated and most pigmented and the boldest out of this three. This looks really beautiful. Okay, for me, it looks like a red but with a brown undertone and it's not really that intimidating. It's perfectly wearable. I can even wear this in my workplace. Out of all the reds, this one is the most wearable for me. That's all I have for you right now. I will do a follow-up review for this. Of course, I'm gonna let you know if it really live up to its claim that it's hydrating and long-lasting and well for the pigmentation and for the saturation it really is so pigmented and one swipe full saturation full coverage right now i can feel that it's very lightweight i applied i think i already applied two swipes and i still cannot feel this on my lips as so i'm gonna end this video with me wearing this velvet jazz lipstick and i am so, i'm so satisfied with what i paid for this is definitely not a must-have, but if you need a little bit of something to uplift your mood or something to give yourself this Christmas season to make yourself happy, you can go ahead and try this lipstick. It is also available individually, so you don't have to buy all three of them. And the shipping is free. I'm just not sure if it's also free if you're gonna buy it individually. I'm gonna put the link to her shop and the link to her web page so you can see the swatches of this on different skin tones and you can decide before you buy. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you very very soon. Bye! So this is my sister trying out the velvet... Is that the velvet jazz? And then, can you tell them your first impression? Mayroon pala agad? Hindi siya kumakalat agad. O baka dahil may lipstick ako kanina. Saturation of color. And the feel in the lips. Color. Okay lang. Mas gusto ko yung mas dark pa na color. Tsaka para siyang ano, yung parang medyo shiny. Parang oh, hindi, hindi siya, siya ganang kamat. No, it's not a down mat. It's a subtle mat with a little bit of sheen. Eh, hindi ako ma. Hindi ako mahilig sa shiny na lips. Is it drying? Is it lightweight? Comfortable in the lips? Hindi ako comfortable kasi yung sensitive yung lips ko. So, namimili lang ako ng lipstick na ginagamit. So, may mga lipstick na pag nilagay ko, first time pa lang, alam ko na magre-react yung lips ko. So, feeling ko, hindi ko yan pwedeng hiramin. Kasi, 
magbabalat yung lips ko. Oh, that's good. Kasi makapal yung pakaram. Makapal yung pakaramdam ko. Talaga? Sa akin wala akong nararamdaman sa lips. Hindi ko siya nararamdaman sa lips ko. Ah. Hindi niya nakocover yung buong lips. Yung parang parang nagbabako-bako. Bakit? Parang pag dinaan. Tinan mo, hindi niya nadadaan ng lahat. Tapos ang tendency, maglalagay ka na maglalagay. Ay, hindi. Tapos, nadry na siya. Parang laging may, may lapis. Ito pa itong orange. It's a fiery, orangey bread. Parang hmm. feeling ko mas... Mas gusto ko siguro ito. Ito. Ito lang yung nilagay ko na parang malandas. Ah! Yung madali lang kumalat. Yan yung nakita ko. Mas, ano, mas soft siya. Ito. Ito yung maganda. Parang kaiba to dun sa tatlo. Dun sa dalawa. So, I invited my sister to go ahead and try the lipsticks. Kasi I want the first impressions to be not just from me, but from other people too. Kasi we all have different preferences. Ano yung final thoughts mo? Ako, gusto ko yung Velvet Ribbon. Kasi tinry ko yung tatlo. And yung nauna na dalawa, uh, feeling ko, ang kapal ng lips ko. At saka, kasi nga, meron ako, uh, sensitive yung lips ko. Kung gumamit ako ng iba't ibang lipstick, normally, nagda-dry siya, tapos nagpipil. Kaya, tapos meron ako mga ginagamit na lipstick. Pag, pag in-apply ko sila, napipil ko kagad kung magre-react yung lips ko. Yung naunang dalawa, feeling ko magre-react yung lips ko. Kasi pag ina-apply ko sila, hindi siya, parang sobrang dry niya, hindi siya agad kumakalat lahat sa lips. Pero yung pangatlo, ito, yung velvet uh, ribbon, okay siya. Yung application, yung pagka-apply ko, okay siya agad, tas hindi siya naglalagpas-lagpas, tas hindi siya ganun ka-dry. Kaya nga, out of all the three din naman na tinry ko, yung pagka-try ko pa lang, sinabi ko na na mas gusto ko yung blendability niya and yung hydrating level, I mean yung softness niya sa lips. For me, hindi ko talaga siya very lightweight, hindi ko siya nafe-feel sa lips. Though, I will also favor the Velvet Ribbon out of the three. Ito talaga yung pinaka, ang ganda ng kulay, ang ganda ng saturation, ang ganda ng blendability. Ko, comfortable talaga sa lips ko. Sa kanya daw, hindi comfortable. Ang comfortable lang sa lips niya ay yung Velvet Ribbon. So, out of these three, pareho naman kami nang nagustuhan, the Velvet Ribbon. Though sa kanya, hindi niya nagustuhan yung dalawa. But for me, Velvet Ribbon is the best. But itong dalawang to, sulit din naman. If you have your red lipsticks, and this is not in your budget, then don't buy it. Hindi mo kailangan. But if you're feeling a little bit spendy, if you're feeling a little extra special, na gusto mong paligayahin at pasahin ang sarili mo this Christmas, or if you want this to be given as a gift to your friends na alam mong mahilig sa makeup, I am pretty sure they're gonna appreciate this. We are gonna wrap this up, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!